Hello traders, FS Bucoletti here. Today is Friday, June 7th, and I'm going to be analyzing the US dollar Canadian, starting on the monthly, working my way down to the one hour time frame for the full top down analysis. So on the dollar cat, I'm still looking at this as either an A or one. I still think this looks now like five ways up, which is why I think actually it's a wave A of wave B. And I think this needs to go down to make an A, B, C or B, which is a B of B. And eventually back up for a wave C of B or a wave C of two. So keeping that in mind, taking it down to the weekly time frame. I still think this is very impulsive down and it is five ways, which is why I think it's probably an A or maybe a wave one. I still think this is a complete correction right here, like a wave B, possibly a wave two, more likely a wave B. And I still think this is going to end up continuing down probably at least to the, you know, 100, maybe 123 and possibly even quite a bit lower than that to make a wave C, just like what I was showing on the monthly time frame. So taking it down to the daily time frame, on the daily time frame, this has been a very overlapping pattern, but I definitely think there's some clarity to it. I think this is impulsive down, possibly one. I think this is impulsive up A, three waves down B, impulsive up C, three waves down D, impulsive up E. I think we may already have the end of a wave two, and I think there's a pretty good chance it's just going to keep on trending down in a big old wave three, probably a wave three of wave C on the higher time frames. So taking it down to the four hour time frame, on the four hour time frame, I got my Fibonacci retracement on the last push down. I mean, yeah, it is going up pretty strong right now, but we have Canadian unemployment numbers and we have US dollar news coming out today. So we have important news for the CAD and important news for the dollar. I honestly think there's a pretty good chance that this could turn out one of these Fibonacci retracement levels and that this is already the end of a correction, already the end of a wave two, and that this is all just subdivisions of a wave three. So, taking it down to the one hour time frame, I'm definitely watching my Fibonacci levels. I'm looking for a pullback. Now, this definitely kind of looks like a trend over here. I kind of think this is an A. I kind of think this could be like the wave one, this could be the wave B, and we're now already in a wave C. If it is already a wave C, then it might even go up and retest these highs, or possibly even go up to this trend line before the news, and end the wave C and continue the downtrend. Like, this would be a wave one, this would be like an A, B, C of two, and then it goes down for a wave three. You do have to keep in mind that we got CAD news and dollar news today, so definitely be aware that there's probably going to be a pretty volatile day on the CAD and dollar pairs today. So in a ways, if you would like to join my free Discord channel, the link for that is down here in the corner. And if you'd like to check out my website to get access to my daily live trading sessions and access to my swing trade setups, check out my website down here at fxpepcoletta.com. As always, thank you and happy trading.